Hi guys, welcome back to our Cisco ST Event Controller onboarding series. In a part one, we showed you how to set up a CA server and onboard we manage, which is a central management component of your network. In a part two, we are diving into the onboarding of the B-Bond and B-Smart, two more crucial part of your ST Event network. And did you know about the B-Bond act as an orchestrator of your network? ensuring that the right data gets into the right place at the right time and that we smart act as in a control as in the the controller making the decision about the best path of your data to travel in this video we will also go over wireshark packet capture to give you a deeper understanding of how we want and we smart onboarding process does work by the end of this video you will be a pro at onboarding we want and we smart and you will have the knowledge to keep your network running smoothly. So if you are ready to dive into the exciting world of the B-Bond and B-Smart, and of course, looking back into the packet capture, how things are working, be sure to watch the part two of our controller onboarding series. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you never miss the video. Let's get started. certificate part okay now what i need to do is that i need to complete the vbond and vsmart so for that i will go in the configuration devices inside the devices i'll click on a controller in the controller so far so i have a certificate installed for b manage but i don't see any other controller so for that i'll add it so simply admin i'm sorry ip address 1.1.2 admin admin whatever the password you have set up for the cli okay uh why it says that failed to add the device 1.1.2 it should be let me try that. Is the beep on and is just able to ping the one dot number two? Yeah. So run VPN zero interface ETH zero. Good. Let me try to add again. Management IP address of we want one dot one dot two admin uh, password is password will change no right no 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 I can try to log in on the we bond again admin admin that time you yeah so run vp zero interface g zero slash zero uh that says good one dot one dot two mm. let me try to add b smart for a moment One dot one dot three. Fail to mention port or something, nothing, right? No, we don't need to give it. Um, let me try one thing. Maybe yeah. they have changed something in the new version which i'm just guessing let me try on the the eth512 ip address so if i click on that we have an individual graphical page for bond and smart what you said we have any individual per graphical page we have any individual per page for a we smart and we manage so we no, we we don't have we don't have we so manage only command line, right? it's this command line only so 36 admin. Uh, 
Oh. So they have. It's my so it should be basically they said it should be accessible by the management only. Then they will only allow. So let me do that. If that is the case, I need to hard code that IP address on that device. Else, it, right? yeah. Oh, else, okay. if the IP address will change, it can create a problem. Pre right? Previous version, we can do the in eighteen point four. We were able to do it on the transport interface itself. Okay. okay. Uh, let me do that. I'll quickly do VPN zero interface. Sorry, uh, exit VPN five one two interface ETH zero IP address. Commit. Okay, we smart. So run VPN. VPN zero or VPN five one two. Interface ETH one IP address commit write this IP address to add for V smart. Yeah. So we have successfully added it, but if you see the license is not installed for both of them, right? So simply I need to go in the certificate section, controller, in the, the controller, I can click on the B bond and can see a generate CSR or I use the already generated. So CSR has been generated. I can directly click on a view CSR, copy it from here or download both option does work okay it, it's same right so i can directly go here close this stm lab i'll see new file bbond.csr so it has been i can click save same thing i can do control and and can take for the vsmart user to csr control a control c Save as vsmart.csr. .csr. Okay, I can go ahead to move it from here to here on my CA server. So it's sign in request. I'm uh, F2. I need to remove the txt. So I'll copy this, copy this, move it inside my folder. Yep, it's been copied here. Simply go back on the, the CA server again. Use the same command, just replace the file name. So I'll see. V bond dot pm and we'll see B bond dot uh st van at one two three by yep. So if you see the B bond chase the ID 
592 should be the same as on the CLI. So 592 FE, if I'll click on the B bond and say, so control local properties, it says that 592 FE. So it basically, when we are generating the CSR, CSR itself is having the properties extracted from the device itself, right? Next, I'll do the uh, V smart as well. LS minus L. Okay, and I'll say ST when at one, two, three. It's done, LS minus L, both of them done. So I'll just move the PM file uh, of these P bond and B smart to my local system and we'll try to upload. So B bond So simply click here for the B bond. You can see the IP address here and click install, select file. For that you select the B bond.pm. Just now, okay, install. And then once this got successfully done, we will go back to complete the other one as well. Successfully completed. I'll go back again in the certificate, control us, select the vSmart, install certificate, select file vsmart.pm and here you go. Okay, so Certificate has been installed on all three devices. So if you see on the B bond, you must see the certificate 2022. So 221 is assigned to the one device, 222 is assigned to the other device. So it's just the, you know, because you are doing in a sequence, maybe if someone else get into between, got the certificate, they will got it, right? So on the V smart also, you will do so control local properties, you got the same as the 223, right? 2023. So if you clearly understand the serial number is actually being extracted from the certificate and to whom certificate, who is, pro I mean, in the certificate from where it is coming from the CA server, right? Now, if you do go back on the GUI and try to look on the device, click on the controller, you see that the all the information system IP address site ID in sync is being updated only for we manage because we manage it itself local it device, but not for the B1 and B smart. Why? Because <coughs> the control connection is not yet built. So if you do so control connection, no control connection is made. Uh, either to the B bond and B smart to build the control connection, you have to enable the tunnel interface. So before that, let me try if I can do sort of the packet capture here somewhere. Mm. Capture G zero slash zero. If it will allow me to do, I'll try to show you that. Mm, 
come on, come on. Good. So, I have one capture running for this thing. I'll run the other capture. Or maybe what I do, what if I'll do for uh, itself directly on a vManage, which will help me to so the packets coming from everywhere. Wait a moment, huh? Capture ETH zero. Always choose. Okay. So I have done this. Now I will go ahead to configure tunnel interface command on the vManage. So inside this ETH 0 slash 0, I'll go ahead VPN 0 interface ETH 0. I'll say tunnel interface. This will be communicating through VPN 0, right? Not right. I want to be. VPN 0 only for, you know, uh, building the control connection. Uh -huh. So if you see Nothing change now. I will go back and do the on the B1. So 150 VPN 0 interface G0 slash 0 tunnel interface encapsulation IPsec. This is the I encapsulation IPsec is the additional command which needed on the B1. I'll say commit and quit now. I hope that I should be able to see sort of a DTLS traffic here. You see randomly DTLS traffic. I'll, I'll show you in a moment. Let me do so orchestrator connection. You can see that V1 got the control connection built to the V managed. This is a DTLS tunnel, right? Port number is one, two, three, four, six, 39 seconds back. Organization is network lab. And if you will go back on the GUI, uh, where is my GUI man? Here. And if I'll refresh, you see the B1 information is also pulled up. It should be in a sync in a moment, but you see that the you know, status is this thing, right? So now I'll, for a moment, I'll pause this and we'll try to filter the DTLS traffic, okay? So DTLS. So 1.1, send the ETLS client hello to the 1.1.2, which means that vman is sent to the B smart, sorry, vman is sent to the B1, and it's sent on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, the datagram layer security is the DTLS, client hello, and all that stuff, right? And say client hello, sequence zero, right? Now, if you go back more deeper side of it, you can see the whatever the you know DTLS suits and all those. Since this 1.1.2 was not enabled that moment, it says that destination port unreachable. Again, the VMAN is sent to the uh, you know, uh, client hello to the vBond. We won't say that hello verify request. Okay. So what hello verify request is having is the, you know, the DTLS and all those information further into it. And if you see the client hello and then server hello. So 1.1.2 said that the server hello and certificate fragmented. If a certificate size was bigger, so it sent into the fragmentation method and the packet was completed, reassembled here. It says that the server key exchange certificate request, server hello done, right? So the packet first one here and the next one is a 38 and is being sent by the B1, right? So B1 send, okay. Mr. I got to send this information and all that stuff, and I'm done with that myself. Okay. Next, at the same time, VMAN is also sent to the B1 that the certificate from their side 
and it will end up going it here to the uh, to the you know uh, v uh, to the v one from so the from v man is to the v one and that's how your this you know DTLS is completely successfully handset messaged. Now you see everything encrypted application data, right? So DTLS is basically used to form the control connection and all that stuff. Okay. So I'll do one thing: file export specified packet. And I'll say display packet. And we'll see we manage the bond of DTLS. So that's how your security is being considered in this one. Now, if I will do more capture for this V smart guy. I know that we are going beyond the time. I'll take a few more minutes before I step up. So capture ETH zero. Let's capture this time on the V smart, okay? Capture has started. Let's go ahead to hit on the V smart and right now there should not be in control connection. Now I will go VPN zero interface EDH zero uh, tunnel interface commit. As soon as I did commit and quit, I should see some DTLS traffic on it. Yeah, you see the DTLS traffic heading here and all that stuff is DTLS. All right guys, so that's it for our controller onboarding video. We hope it has been helpful in guiding you through the process of Cisco ST1 controller onboarding. If you have any question or thoughts, leave your comment. If you are new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss the future videos. We say our expert inside on the Cisco ST1 in networking. And if you found this video useful, share it with others who might be interested. Of course, your support help us to create even more helpful content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.